Paris, thank you for that live report. It's a story Western Mass News continues to follow. Today we learned of a setback and the search for the killer of Molly Bish. DNA testing results deliver disappointing news to the family that has been waiting decades for answers and justice. Not a match. Three words casting doubt on the efforts to find the killer of Molly Bish. It's disappointing. You know, we keep hoping we're going to find this bad guy, you know, um, and it's scary to think this isn't the guy like who is it then? It's a blow to Molly's sister, Heather Bish, who hoped a DNA sample from the son of potential suspect Francis Sumner Sr. would bring long awaited answers. Instead, she fears more system failures. Molly's case is, is in this position right now because police didn't respond to a missing child. They did not know how to respond. They did not preserve the crime scene. There were errors after errors after errors. Molly Bish was just 16 when she disappeared from her lifeguard post on Commons Pond in Warren in June of 2000. Her remains were found three years later in Palmer. Just last year, the Worcester DA's office revealing a breakthrough in the case, naming convicted kidnapper and rapist Francis Sumner Sr. a person of interest. He had died in 2016. It's frustrating because with the other persons of interest we had, much more circumstantial information, um, and that helped us garner more information. Despite the recent test results, she says authorities remain focused on Sumner, though the family doesn't know why. It's, it's frustrating for my family and I that we aren't told exactly what tests are being done, I and mean, we can't ask more sp specific questions based on our knowledge. Um, that doesn't seem to me like that would be something that would hurt the investigation. The Worcester County DA's office says it's a balancing act to maintain the integrity of the investigation while keeping the family and public informed. And, quote, this investigation remains very active and ongoing. For this reason, any discussion of evidence or the status of DNA evidence being tested is premature and inappropriate at this time. Even after more than two decades, Heather clings to hope that emerging technology will one day close in on her sister's killer. I might be sitting in my rocking chair at 85 years old and get a phone call one day that they were able to figure this out. I'm certain that at some point we'll have the answers. Um, it's just really hard to wait for them. And Heather Bish is asking for support of a bill in the Senate Ways and Means Committee that would streamline familial DNA testing in Massachusetts and protect it as a tool for law enforcement.